Welcome to the preview of PicoSign API. I will guide you through the interface that allows you to test all the functionalities. You can log into our test account at https picosign.com slash API using the credentials shown on the screen. After logging in, you will see API functionalities grouped into three sections named Info for Information, Config for Configuration, and Image for Image Management. Once you click the section header, available operations will appear below. In the Info section, we have two GET methods. First one returns information for all PicoSigns in this account. The second one takes a PicoSign ID as a parameter and returns information for this device only. Clicking the method expands a panel containing brief description, default response object, required parameters, and alternative response messages. Full object documentation is accessible with the model button here. You can also click the try it out button to execute real query on the server. Apart from the response content, you will see some useful information regarding request and response objects. In the configuration area, there are also two get methods that work in a similar way and a post method that handles configuration updates. For post methods, there's an example provided in the pane on the right side of the screen. You can use it just by clicking the example. You can edit the example value and send it with a try it out button. Response will be displayed in the response body. Let's take a look at image methods. With put method, you can upload an image in a popular format such as JPEG or PNG to the server and display it on your PicoSign. To do this, choose a file to be displayed Specify the device ID and click Try it out button. You will see the status of your query in the response body. We may verify that with the get method. Need to specify device ID as well and click Try it out button. That shows the image we've just uploaded. Post method allows sending images in base64 format, which is useful for machine outputs. You can try the example here and watch the result in the response body. You may have noticed authorization token sent in each header. Tokens provide secure authentication and determine which Pico signs are assigned to your account. In production environment, this can be customized for different users, applications and access rights. You also may have noticed curl line appearing after each request. This shows how easy it is to develop a client software. Our API is compliant with the Open API specification, also referred to as Swagger specification. This means most RESTful API clients will work well. Also, you can use automated code generators, making your client software even easier to develop. Please refer to Swagger API GitHub page for further details and examples. If you have any questions or comments, please forward them to support at mpicosys.com. Thank you for watching.